All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. This is The Coding Zoo. And today we're going to start something new. We're going to start a new series, a new set of playlists covering the programming language Java. So I'm a software engineer of about 18 years. Love Java. Most of that time I've spent writing in the Java programming language. It's a great language. It's still kicking. It's been around for a while, but it's still kicking, still growing. There are a lot of jobs out there for it. It's an awesome language. In today's lesson, we're going to start simple. We are going to spend a quick five or 10 minutes setting up the Java development kit. So that's the first thing you have to do is set up the Java development kit before you start programming in Java. So I'm going to walk you through that in this first lesson. In the second lesson, I'm going to walk you through setting up your uh, development environment, your IDE. If you're interested in, in getting set up and learning Java, stick around. We're going to cover a lot of different subjects. We're going to start small and can get to more complex ones later. I hope you enjoy the series. If you have any requests on particular subjects in Java, just let me know and we'll definitely get to it. So again, I hope that interests you. If so, stick around. We're going to jump right in. All right, hey everybody, it's been quite a while. I haven't been posting as many videos as I usually do. I usually do two or three a week. And for the coding zoo, I haven't been doing any in the last few months, maybe one here and there. I'm gonna do my best to try to correct that. Part of my time has been spent working on a new channel called The Photo Zoo. Go check it out, The Photo Zoo, I'll put a link below. It's on photography, landscape photography, if you're interested in that, go check it out. The rest of that time has been spent getting ready for this new playlist and get ready to start teaching a little bit of Java. That said, we're going to still cover JavaScript some. We're still going to cover CSS a little bit more. We haven't covered as much as we'd like there. And, and every now and then some more HTML. So again, my apologies for not posting every week, but that should start changing in the next few weeks. So hopefully you enjoy the videos. And, you know, leave me a comment if there's a particular subject you'd like for me to cover, or if you have questions about what we're learning that day, hey, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Let's go ahead and jump in. So I've got my desktop here. And on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and bring up Google. And I'm going to type in Java JDK. Java JDK. Now it's going to bring up several links. I want the Java development kit 12. So I'm going to click on 12. That's, that's one of the latest versions. Java development kit 12. It says download Oracle. So click on that. It's going to bring up a screen. Make sure it says Java SE development kit 12 downloads. If you scroll down to the bottom, the first thing you will see is a um, accept a radio button. Click on accept and then scroll to the bottom and click on uh, the entry for your OS. If you're Mac, click on the Mac one. If you're Windows, click on the Windows one. I'm using Windows right now. So it's going to start to download. It may take some time if your network's a little slow. It's quite large, but hopefully not too long. If it doesn't let you download it, don't, for click, don't forget to click the Agree button next to the uh, user agreement. All right, and once you download it, Open it up and you'll find the file. And if it's exe on Windows, you can just go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna right click, choose open and run. And you'll see this window comes up. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now it's gonna ask me where I wanna put it. I'm just gonna leave the default. You may want to copy or write that down. You will need it here in a few minutes. All right, so it's copying the Files over. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right. Hey, that was quick. So now I just click on close. The next step is we've, we, you know, we've installed the kit, but what can you do with it? Right? So the next step is I'm going to test it. I'm going to make sure that windows knows about the kit, make sure it's set up correctly. I'm going to test it using the command prompt. So I'm going to type in CMD to open up the command prompt. And we're gonna type in Java dash version or Java dash dash version, I forget which. Now, it's Windows is more than likely not gonna know it's there yet. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up and that will conclude installing our JDK. So 
Let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to type in CMD and command prompt. Click on that. So I'm at the command prompt. Type in Java dash dash version. And you'll see it says Java is not available. So I close that. Back to my Windows. Type in my. Type in my. If you type in my, you'll see that this comes up with the best match of being this PC. That's kind of my roundabout way of getting there. There's other ways to get there. But just type in my in the run box at the bottom there and you'll see this PC. Uh, if you right click on this PC, you'll see the word properties. Go ahead and click on properties and then you'll have another box that comes up. That box has view basic information. It's got a menu on the left. So on the left, click on uh, com click on the system settings. Once you do that, the system properties will come up. And once you're on system properties, you will see right here next to my pointer, um, a button that says environment variables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a path to where Java is installed. And that way Windows will know uh, where Java is at and you can run it from the command line. So click on environment variables. A new window comes up. I am going to um, go to the bottom here where it says system variables. And I want to scroll until I find the variable on the left that says path. Now when I see path, I'm going to click on the word path. And then I'm going to choose the button edit. Let's do that. So find path, click on it, choose edit. And now I'm going to add a new entry. You'll see that Java's not in there. So I'm going to click on uh, new and it added a new entry. Now what do I put here? Well, this is what I asked you to write down a few minutes ago. If you can't remember, I can't remember. So I'm going to go there and get it. I'm going to my PC. I'm going to my C drive. I'm going to program files, Java, JDK 12, make sure it says 12 and JDK, not JSC. And I went to the bin folder. Now this bin folder is where you find all the files that are executable uh, in Java. This is what Windows needs to know about. So I'm going to go back to my environment variables. Again, click new. And now I'm going to cut and paste that whole path to the bin folder and make sure it's OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. I'm going to close all my windows. Going to reopen the command line by again, type it in CMD in the run box. And then I'm going to click on command prompt. So click on command prompt or press enter. And I'm going to type in Java and you'll see it came back with uh, some instructions. So I'm going to type in Java dash version or dash dash version. Let's do dot, let's do dash version. And there we go. It should say Java version 12. If it does not say 12, then you probably are pointing it to a, the, the wrong place. Um, so if it does say 12, then that's it. You have now installed the Java Development Kit version 12, one of the latest versions. The Development Kit has uh, the Java language, uh, the runtime environment, and um, a lot of other libraries that you can develop with. So um, that's pretty much it. That's how you install the, uh, the Sun Java uh, Development Kit. Next step is to install an IDE. Uh, basically, it stands for Integrated Development Environment. If you're not familiar, it's just a tool that you actually write code in. We're going to do that in our next lesson. We will probably end up using for this series uh, using uh, either Eclipse or IntelliJ. So, hey, I hope this was uh, simple for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a message below. Be sure if you're interested in learning Java to go ahead and click the subscribe button below. And there's a bell icon that'll pop up next to it. Be sure to click that bell for alerts. If you don't click that, you won't know when the next videos come out. Um, and click that like button. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, click that like button. Our goal at the Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. I, I'm, I love programming. I'm passionate about it. It's a fun career. I know if you're looking to become a developer, you will enjoy it also. Thank you for joining. And again, if you are interested in landscape photography, Totally different than programming, I know, but if, if you're interested, hey, check out the PhotoZoo. Search for it on YouTube, the PhotoZoo, or I'll put a link below. 
And I look forward to seeing you in the next programming lessons. Definitely check it out. I hope to see you then. Have a great week. Bye.